Hi, it's um, Stephen Phillips here at Gymfo, and this is our December update. Now, uh, you know, December, wow, it's the year has just kind of flown by. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to the holiday season. I'm sure you are as well. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, we just want to cover off a few things that have been going on at Gymfo. So we're going to talk a little bit about in a, mo in a moment about empowering stakeholders. Uh, which is an outcome of our most recent community session. Um, also talking a little bit about our next community session um, uh, coming up on 13th of December, uh, and then reflecting on a most recent webinar, an article that's been loaded to the website off the back of our conversations uh, with Nick Collison uh, from Toronto. However, what I want to start with uh, is just a reminder, as you know, we are me reaching the end of the calendar year. And for many of you, it will also be financial year end and you'll be seeing many of your contracts coming up for renewal. So it's a really, really busy time for people right now. Uh, but if you do have any budget remaindered, uh, you know, this might be a good time to actually invest in a Jimfo subscription. Uh, it's, it's a very reasonable cost. You can go to jimfo.com to, to check that out. And, you know, as we move into 2024, we're going to be highly focused on content purchasing and really working extensively both with uh, the buy side within the information industry, but also the sell side. And we're lining up a lot of conversations with different suppliers across broad um, categories of, of, of spend, like uh, environmental social governance uh, sources, emerging markets, uh, legal purchasing, company information, and STM topics too. So, you know, we're really trying to spread the net very wide and really trying to help you understand kind of what's coming on along from the bigger suppliers, as well as what disruptive influences might be coming down the pipe towards you that you might want, might be interested in and want to take a look at. Now, within that, with that all in mind, uh, actually, one of the key themes that came out of our last community session I mentioned earlier was all about empowering stakeholders. Uh, now, the most important stakeholders in your organization are typically the people that control the budgets that are spent on uh, content and, and information spend and the services that you're actually managing. And reaching out to these people and engaging them is really a vital part of your role. Um, but many people don't really often think about how they can empower uh, these budget holders to do their jobs more effectively. Often those people find themselves in what, you know, what I would term a rubber stamping um, role uh, or mode because they're simply presented with a, uh, a requirement from within the business to procure a certain product or a certain service. And they really lack the tools and the insights needed in order to make an informed judgment about, well, are there other products available in the marketplace? Is there a more cost-effective solution? Is there something you're already buying uh, actually that will um, perform that role that the business needs uh, just, as, just as effectively? But that is actually where as information managers, you come in to help these people. You can um, you know, critically assess them, evaluate these products. You can compare them to the products you already have uh, in-house. And then you can actually come back to them with your own recommendations, using your own judgment as to whether actually this is a good use of the firm's uh, resources or not. So don't ever forget that, uh, you know, you don't only look to your stakeholders, for, if you like, for permission and uh, buy in to do things. It's a two way street. And actually, they're probably looking to you to help them to actually inform their judgment processes. So with that in mind, um, la our last community session, we really focused on uh, needs analysis. And we're going to just come back to that in a moment, because I first want to tell you about our next community session on December 13th when uh, we'll be continuing our series looking at generative AI, uh, but more this time at the practical implications of it. And I'll um, be speaking with Sarah Fahi, who is a senior director from Allen and Overy in charge of their research and library teams. And she has been doing a lot of great work, uh, really uh, evaluating the market, um, looking at how generative AI tool sets are going to impact um, the business um, and the organization, Allen and Overy and how her team have started to pivot and adapt uh, in order to kind of get in position to be able to respond very positively to this, uh, to this new technology. So I'm looking forward to having a really good conversation with Sarah uh, on the 13th when we can, uh, we can cover uh, hopefully a lot of these topics. Now, returning to last month's community session, uh, we have you know, produced an article and subsequently a webinar that's now available on the website, uh, which features Nick Collison of Toronto. Uh, and we were talking in detail about needs analysis there 
and how um, you know this technique can actually help inform decisions and enable you know you and your clients and your suppliers really to know what the information needs are of the organization. Uh, we often kind of confine our conversations on these topics to product specific discussions. You do you need this particular product A or product B or product C? Um, but this actually takes it a level down, a little bit more specific and granular in terms of the analysis about actually well, what content, what do you need to know in order to, to successfully prosecute your business and deliver your business outcomes? And this is a critical level of detail because it enables you to move the conversation beyond the confines and the constraints of specific products, which many users are already used to using, more towards, well, actually, what information, what is it... A, in these products, what is it, the functionality or the content that, that's in them that actually makes a difference? And that's the critical um, uh, kind of point here uh, in terms of defining value and really getting on top of what the uh, what the return on a potential investment is in a product. A lot of the conversation really centered around our value chain principles within Junfo.com that we've been talking about for many, many years now. So I would encourage you to refer to those materials as well. Uh, and that will give you great insight combined with the commentary from the, from the webinar as to how you might take some of these techniques and apply them within your business. So that's the update for this month. Uh, all that remains really is, uh, as it's December, and I've got my Christmas colour jumper on, is to actually uh, send you season's greetings. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and, you know, really looking forward to working with you and seeing you all in 2024. Oh, and actually, I almost forgot. So if you like this update, please do click the like button. Uh, but if you'd like to re receive future updates, then please do click subscribe. Thank you.